go to Greek fan followed? How nice of him. Let me see if I'm here. Now I'm going to tell people that I'm on. Disco, disco sleeves. I want to be a disco with sleeves. All right. We got to talk business today because there is, there's something going down and we need to clarify said going down this first of all today is the contest j hearts um contest for which i entered hold on There we go. Sorry, I have trouble concentrating just to begin with. Um, so it's today, I think at... One or something? I'll double check for us. After I tell everyone I'm streaming. That way more people get to hear what time it is. There are so many things we have to talk about. So, luckily, I've done all my writs. You don't have to watch that. I've done my Somerset stuff. You don't have to watch that. Oh, Lord. Sleeves. All right. Contests. There is a command that drives me nuts. All right. Let me see. What? Give me a moment. Give me a moment. We got to talk about this too. Um, I think it's Amaya, but I want to make sure. is Amaya. Okay. PTF show. I think I gotta double check this. Amaya. Some people saying that you can't port to houses without <clears throat> port to houses without using port to friend but there is a manner in which you can do that so I just want to make sure that it works um, would help if I could see myself there we go no, it's not working shit what am I doing wrong Specific house is wrong. Oh well.
Hello, everyone. All right, let's talk about this because it's guilty. First of all, I want to congratulate Chrysaea and several others who won. Um, it was wonderful. Congratulations, the Zoss contest. Secondly, I want to point out that, um, that can only, no, it's hard to be there. Uh, I want to point out that Sea of Stars, who's on NA as well, is the full winner of the contest. And she has been kind enough to leave her stuff open and, and allow us to come and see it. Now, as if you've watched the stream, you should recognize this as the winning picture. Now, people are, there's a couple of people complaining, and not just in, um, uh, it is a light flicker, I see it too. Um, so yeah, a lot of people, there were a couple of people both in, uh, channel, the channels I'm in, as well as on the forum saying that this was an altered screenshot that you could not possibly fit all of this stuff in one screenshot. Hi, Bay. Nice to see you. I, I assure you, you absolutely can, and uh, there was no manipulation. I also want to point out that the flicker of lights is why that horn looks so bizarre. You see it? It looks distorted. It's not. It's just, it's just the shadows. So, uh, you know, some of the people are saying, those wheels are too big in comparison to the other items. And I'm like, no, they're not. And so I was able to come in here and prove that, yes, you can get the whole thing in a shot. And yes, this and yes, that. And so, you know, if you hear people saying that she photoshopped it, it's not true. And I think it really takes something away from someone who worked very hard on something. And is a young person and I think it's it's unfortunate. Now Chrysaea also won. I don't know if I can see Chrysaea's house. I don't know if she made it available, but I could have sworn she said it was Forge Master. Oh it was super mean. It's super mean uh, publicly to do that as well and to call out specific things and when I pointed out no you're wrong here 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 and here they're like arguing with that too so uh who is it Sh uh, chrysaea i think they said it was her forge masters yes haters gonna hate right yeah so i went on uh i responded to them i went and i took a screenshot exactly as close as i could get to what where I thought she was standing when she took the screenshot, posted it. I mean, it's like identical. It's, and so, you know, first they were attacking that the furniture looked weird. The furniture looks exactly like it looks. Uh, then they were saying, you can't fit all that much in there. Yeah, you can. I just proved that. And then, um, this is not going to look the same way as it looks. This house is not going to look the same way as it looks in the picture for Chrysaea because uh, I would love to. I would love to bay because I, I'm excited to see it. Uh, but you can see that also Chrysaea didn't cheat. Not that I thought she did. Take a look at all of that detail. And she was, in fact, able to fit it all in a single screenshot. This house is, is genius. Oh, I'm not going to say, you know anything other than the because i i did talk directly to the people who won and, and some people who didn't so i've said what i've had to say about that but i am so proud of everyone for trying um and don't don't give up okay you know it's just, just a couple of people's opinions and all art is worthwhile and i aspire to be more like chrysia because i know 
How the hell did she make that? Look at the detail on that. She, that's that stag thing. She used how many of those just to make a door that doesn't even show up? Oh, Jesus Christ, say, you're crazy. I love you. And look at those windows. Ah! I love you. You're so talented. So I aspire to be more like her, right? So it's not, it is a beautiful build. And I mean, when you look inside and you see the detail, it's really kind of stunning. Uh, but it's, it's okay to feel salty. It really is. We are all entitled to feel salty and sad. But don't shit on other people, please. You know. Oh, I will. I will. I'll go around back. But seriously, don't shit on other people. They don't deserve it. Um, just, you know. Yeah, she made everything from scratch. This is Forge Master Falls. There's nothing here, not even snow. She made everything from scratch. Um, this is all handmade. All of it. Everything in her screenshot was handmade except the rock. <laughs> Which is amazing. Um, I love Prisea so much. And, uh, and I would be lying if I said that I wasn't a little bit envious. Of course I am. But we're entitled to be envious, right? We'll learn. We'll all get better. And even if we aren't at this level, doesn't mean we're not making worthwhile, amazing. Yeah, this is Chrysaea's entry. I should go back to Sea of Stars. I didn't walk in. The, uh, I'm sorry about that. After we look at this, I'll go right back to Sea of Stars and I'll show you what I mean about the cobbles in that were also quite amazing. And uh, there you go, there's the boat. And then those are actually whales out in the distance, whale fins. And you can't really tell unless you're, I, I was so glad that Cullen, uh, Cullen was able to tell that she had the whales out there, that that's what that was. Because um, she actually, I know, I, I'll be honest here, she actually sent me the picture ahead of time. And she's like, I trust you with this, you know, I just want your opinion on whether you think you can see everything and do you think I need to light up the, the whale fins more? And I'm like, yeah, you need to light those. I can't, I can't tell what they are from the picture. Uh, and so she, she did that. And so I know, I knew from ahead of time that this one wasn't faked and I knew how good it was. So I was proud of her. So this is wonderful. She's a fantastic human being. I, as I understand it, I don't know Sea of Stars, but as I understand it, she is too an amazing human being. Um, so, I will go back there and show you what I missed showing you uh, for Sea of Stars. Thank you for the follow. Uh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. And it's also her primary. So if you wish to um, go look at it and see for yourself whether or not it's for real, first of all, which it is. And secondly, um, if you want to see it a little closer because there's some cobbles. It's actually pretty much genius, you know, in a lot of ways. What Chrysaeus was was a, a facade in many places. But most of what we're seeing, except for the building itself, with Sea of Stars, is not a facade. It's, it's mostly actually there, except for the building itself, like I said. So here's the outside. We were just looking at this. So this is, look, look at the, look at the lighting, right? Look at the lighting on that. It matches the wiggle on the horn that I was confused about. The timing just changed. So we've got this beautiful view and people were saying this was distorted. It's not. People were saying this was distorted. It's not. People are saying these were too big for the items next to it. They're not. So, you know, just ignore them. Um, but let's take a look, aside, look inside and we've got just a normally beautiful 
actually livable house. I didn't realize that was a bed. How pretty. Oh, that's, that's Jay Hart. I'm in the way of Jay Hart trying to be sneaky. Hold on. Let me know if you need me to move, Jay Hart. I'm streaming. Because it's amazing. That is indeed Jay Hart. The Golden Moo. Uh, so over here we have, like, it's like a livable, practically, house. Right? Yeah, he is. He's sneaking around. Uh, look at all the detail in here. Isn't that beautiful? Ugh. I love it. Okay, so check out this fireplace. Yeah, it's the field of view she used. She used a, uh, a different view than, than this one. But they're not distorted really all that much. I've had someone reproduce it exactly, so it's not, it's not like that. That's how the camera works if you change the camera, exactly. So look at this cobble. I think that's the Hualu well. And then those are the Mayormer thingies and then a wheel. And I just love this cobble. And then you've got, you know, horsies and the little princess pig. And, oh, it's just, it's beautiful. I need to go look at some of yours on EU. If anybody entered on NA and wants me to show it off, uh, just let me know and I'll go visit. I just knew these two won on NA, so it's easier for me to show you, you know, what's going on. But I'll, I'll be happy to go look on, e, on EU as well. Uh, just, just pipe up. Let me write them down. We can look at anybody's you want. All right, C code, I think you're saying yes. Uh, Daggerfall, okay. And I know, um, I know that uh, pets used to be places. Okay, baby, she wants me to look at her wraith home, which by the way, I've seen pictures. It was just a feat of, a feat of creation. Um, I forget who else is. <laughs> you guys are adorable. Everybody like <laughs> hitting each other with mud balls. <laughs> All right, Bay. I'll see you later. That's some funny shit. Harvey Bear and and Hot and Call, who are in the same guild, are just messing around and they're hitting each other with it. It's pretty funny. All right. You entered your dagger. Okay, so just the two of you. I'm happy to show you the rest of you. The rest. I hope other people put their stuff up. I'm happy to go check them out. Maybe people made them live now that uh, the contest is over. I, I really hope so. I'm so excited. All right, we've got, I wonder if people are gonna make them accessible now that, okay, wait. All right, let's start with Agonisis is a Hunter's Glade. I, I'm not a big fan of Hunter's Glade, but, oh, okay. Let me know, you know, if any of you on want me to come visit, Please let me know. Uh, it's funny. I was showing. <laughs> I was talking to Aya Lockhart this morning, and I was sending her pictures of Greek Vamp's work because I was saying, you know, architects like in real life do some pretty freaking amazing things. And she's like, "Well, what do you mean?" And so I sent her pictures from Greek Vamp because Greek Vamp is an architect in real life. Uh, ooh, all the effects. This is pleasing. So pleasing. Welcome to back to the gate, my hounds. You may travel betwixt my realm and the mortal world of Nern at any time. That's her scene speaking, who I don't see, but must be in here. Yeah, there he is. Hi, her scene. Holy crap! Look at how that looks in. 
those are really neat effects. Now let's turn off the effects real quick. Even without effects, that's pretty cool looking. But we've got a background. Sorry, somebody asking me if they can come in or if I'm offending, uh, if I'd interrupt a stream. They'd interrupt the stream. You guys can always visit a house while I'm in it. It doesn't bother anybody. Certainly not me. Uh, I, that's interesting. Uh, I have never tried that. I think that's just the whirlpool. <laughs> right? Uh, he does. It, it certainly does seem... Right, Flimmy? It does, certainly does seem akin to that. But yeah, I'm... Uh, the stuff that Greek Vamp does is just freaking genius. Um, the other one is Swankery has some his some background in art, and so she will again. She's she, it's not terribly surprising that she's able to, you know, do whatever. See Agonisis, he's here. Look how pretty he looks. I really like that outfit. How is he invisible? Gorgeous. All right, Marley Bear. Oh my goodness, thank you, Marley. I have presents to send out. I really do. So we've got You've, we've got the arena. I think I saw that yesterday. Apocrypha. Oh, we saw that. That was amazing. Apocrypha by Agonisis. That was the one with the incredible... Uh, hold on. Let me get the critters. I've sorted everything now, so I have much better access to pictures of things that I want to see or show you. So it doesn't take anywhere nearly as long as it used to. But let me show you his Agonisis. Um, it's really better in person, but... Uh, he said he, he built this place for his werewolf trial guild. All right, here's the window capture. That is his uh, amazing version. So I'm a real fan. Thanks for the follow. Uh, I'll leave it up so that the little kitty running goes away so you guys can actually see it a little better. But Herbeus Mora. Isn't that incredible? So that was this dude. This whole house was amazing. Um... That was his wraith home, in case you want to see it, on N.A. It's an open house. Uh, the waters, I think. Yeah, the water is dyed blood red. So this is this is all the facts here. Which, I love to see a well-done effect house. So they repeated the whirlpool up there, but they also put the, the storm sky in and dyed it red, which is kind of wild. This whole thing is just... It's it's raining blood. Do you see it? It's really subtle, but it's raining blood. The things people think to do with effects is kind of amazing. Nice crafting house. Hmm. I will these manifestations of worldly craft and trade into my realm to serve your needs. You may use any them anytime, my hounds. So that's her scene telling everybody they can use his stuff. Go ahead, use his stuff. Um, here's the banker. Who, look, I need to steal some things out of my bank. Okay. Uh, let me pull this out. Pull out some, some pelinols, why shall we? Oh, the other thing I have to tell you. It's very important. Um, 
there are two versions of the the Lux vendor up right now. Hey, Alonso Janice. Um, be careful about it because yesterday Daniel Theron showed up early, right? And he had the Velothi and the Dark Elf stuff on him. Let me show you my screenshots because this is important. Um, and then what happened was uh, I went to go visit today and this is what I saw. See that? That is uh, all I saw. Oh, thanks. Thank you. I just wanted to make sure that the people maybe didn't read the forum see it. So the version today, no, this was this morning. This was this morning. There's two instances. There's one instance that shows, let me show you. This is the second instance. I went to somebody else's instance and they have all of the items. They have the double set of items. This was the instance I saw and was in this morning. There are more, probably more than one instance, but at least one of them only has the Daedric stuff up. So if you go and you only see the Daedric stuff, try porting to somebody else's instance so that you can also get the Volothi and the Dark Elf stuff, okay? So it's important just for people who maybe didn't see my post about that, um, it's important, okay? Just want to make sure you don't miss it. All right, read that. Thank you. So sending that to Greek fam. And then I heard, yeah, that must have happened with the golden too. I wonder if there's two different sets of those. Uh, Fizzbam, two o. Two five oh one. Oh, I remember that. That was we were all bitching. Actually, I thought it was two weekends. Thank you. Thanks for the follow. Yay! Usually, I didn't expect people with numbers in their name to not. Yeah, he did, and they even joked about that. Uh, And then the next one is the Dragon Maiden. There you are. It must be in one of my guilds. Now you get a book. So normally I send fish, sometimes potatoes. Here I'm sending you a book. So this is the Whirlwind. The, the thing about the Whirlwind is depending on the position at which you are looking at it i think this is the ash storm it not the whirlwind come to think of it because i see that ash is floating up so my point here is not important oh so they messed that up that's interesting why did they double up it's very confusing and then they Doubled up weirdly. You enter the hunter's camp, my hounds. I will this sacred place. Okay, it's, it writes in the rituals are meant to be here. So this is all effects. You've got, you know, glyphs glowing into existence and out again. So I would guess this is for, for RPing if you wish to do RP work. That is really odd. Did you try, so you saw two different versions? There was a golden yesterday that had four monster shoulders sets. I'm not familiar with the golden. It's bizarre. I think they effed up Alonso. I don't think that they necessarily meant to do that. I love the ashes. This, the ashes are such a cool effect, it's even just regular with nothing else around. Nice views from the upstairs. 
either scheduling or they messed something up. Uh, I don't know. I haven't ever used some of them. I, let me show you. Well, first of all, uh, if you ha haven't, if you have EHT, you should install, uh, furniture. Wow, deco track words. Words are hard, uh, and that would make you be able to use this to search just by Daedric. Now, I can tell you right now that, except for books and maybe some lights, everything I own that's Daedric is in storage. I'm not a fan. Uh, I don't really use Daedric stuff. Uh, it, ju it just don't like it. I mean, I stuck the key in a pile of treasure. Did I go off on? No. The bowls are useful, but I don't think they were selling those. And then the Velothi stuff. I think they're also in storage. Oh, no, it's showing me everything in my old Velothi. Never mind. They're just not my taste, I guess. Um, here we go. And then we have another shrine with a... That's the Daedric portal put right there. That's pretty neat. It's interesting how they're layering real effects from the game with, with FX effects. Sure, Marley. Is that, uh... I want to say I've seen it, but I can't. Is that, uh, your prouds bar? Because the contest is today. Yeah, it's just not my thing. But yeah, this is a great Munda Stone. By the way, thank you for saying the words Munda Stone, Jen. Because that's the word I always forget. I'm going to keep it on a piece of paper next to me. I can never remember what they're called. Really smart use of the of the horns, too. Potentates. Potentates. Again, I'm going to repeat this for any of you who entered the Vampire slash Nord contest. I'm happy to tour any of your houses. Um, so feel free to, oh, this is neat, a pie. To, I will be happy to come and visit them. Look at that waterfall. So beautiful. I wish this house, uh, was less weird looking because it's really kind of stunning. I mean, it's such a pretty house. I just wish it wasn't. Wow, they have Warhorn stuff off in other directions, so you can actually look from the really high up. I don't, I don't always love Hunter's Glade. My biggest concern about Hunter's Glade is I never really know where to go. It doesn't really have a straight up path. It has, it's a field, right? So I don't know really where to go. But I'll show you what I was thinking. I was thinking, and I'll turn off the effects right here, of possibly buying this house and building my waterfall dream house right here. This rock was going to be annoying, though. But the thing is that now with the antiquarian house, I don't have to do that. So that'll be cool. That's an interesting light effect. So... Yeah, heavily, heavily effects, but also really good building, too. Oh, yeah, I know. I know. I love hers. If you guys haven't seen Swankery's um, Hunter's Glade, and you haven't seen my video of it, go to it. You, you need to. 
it's a, a Star Wars theme, and she created ad acts that are like, oh my god. Amazing. Oh, I missed the kitty up there. All right, let's, let's go Mets. Okay, let me just check. Okay, I just saw something. I didn't get mail back. Sometimes I get mail bounced back. All right, open houses. Let's go to, uh, who's on? So you both are on EU. I can go to Marley's Potentates, though, because she's on NA. Marley Bear. Potentates. It does. Well, I mean, you know, Hunter's Glade, it's supposed to be Hersini. Um, they weren't exactly working against the thing that house. They really added to it with the blood and everything. But yeah, so those are the two things going on. Oh, let me get you the time for the for the cat, uh, Proud Spire contest. All right. Contest, contest, all the ongoing contests. All right, we've got 1 p.m. Eastern is the Proud Spire Manor Pride. July 25th today, DDA Farms, which means, yeah, the Star Wars theme. That's true. Uh, so DDA today, at some point, will be posting the entries for the farms, usually in the afternoon. So I'll probably have to tour them tomorrow with you guys. Here is the, here are the other remaining contests. Uh, BMW one is only for people in BMW. Uh, the, the, and Unique Antiquity is both PC servers. Housing's Finest is just for Housing's Finest on PCNA. And there's one more, hold on. Oh, we're done. And then the last one is a PCEU beginners contest, a place to call home. There you go. So here we go. We're in, we're in Pelotine. Ma oh goodness. Marley. First of all, great use of the light. Isn't that perfect? Secondly, because that that Azure light looks just like makes ocean stuff on the walls, but it's good you have the ambient sound. It really works in here. Yeah, in case you didn't know, this is what this music... Can you hear it? Can you hear the music box? I'm not sure if you can hear it. But, because I have my sound off, otherwise I end up talking to you guys and duplicating it. But if you can hear the sound, it's like wong, wong kind of thing. Really use... Okay, cool really useful for ambient and I think underwater serves it well um, plus so that's the new music box if you want it plushes used uh, blue lights which you see the blue Velothi bridges they make first of all it gave everything a blue hue but secondly they also make thing the air wiggle from the heat so if you hide it, it looks like it's water wiggling. It's a really nifty trick you can use. There's fishies. There's pets that move. I strongly believe in using jellyfish in, in aquariums. Also, she's done a trick here that I've seen a couple times and I really like, especially if you're looking down on something. If you put lily pads on top, it looks like you have a layer of water, like that's the, you can show where the water ends. So that's pretty cool. We have glowy lights. I don't know how much you guys just want to look at pretty houses and how much you want to know how to do things, but I always assume you want like to know I things I know if I can tell you. Really lovely coral, let me step out. That way we can get a better view. Oh, a little bit. Really like that. That uh, jellyfish. The use of pets. And you put a lot of Alothi braziers in this. Holy smokes. Treasure. 
And look at the crab is, is, is trying to take the treasure. This is really different for you, Marley. Not in a bad way. Look at the barnacles. She added those, um, what are those fruits? The, the briar hearts. She added briar hearts as barnacles. I never would have thought that. That is brilliant. I've never seen anyone do that before, Marley. But it makes sense because you've been so uh, cobbly lately. So looking at things in a different way is really cool. I think you've got a mount. I can't tell if that's the mount or not. A lot of this stuff you can get from fishing and it's pretty cheap. Meaning if you don't like to fish, you can buy this kelp for like 100 gold a piece because people sell it. People sell the kelp. People sell some of this coral. Like these are corals you can buy from the traders. You don't have to buy them on a vendor. Now these, unfortunately, these mushrooms and purple coral, you do have to get off the crown trader. Okay, just pat. This is an achievement, hiding that blue one. Wow, really well done. Really beautiful. Look at the use of the berries. That's so funny, I love it. Did I miss anything or is it is it all this? Oh, periite. Hi, hi periite. Nice to see you. And then the lady with the ball. I can't, can I break her balls? I broke her ball! Oh, did they? Oh, that's really awesome. That is really awesome that people did that. I love that people were, oh, that's wonderful. You can also buy these off traders, the closed ones, and obviously some of the mushrooms as well. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm so glad that Jay Hart was able to, to help you out, as well as everyone else. Fishmeal is, I love his name too. <laughs> Call me Fishmeal. Maybe he has a personal interest in fishies. Uh, that's a coral, the big purple coral. Yeah, unfortunately you have to buy that one. The big old one here. You have to, that's a, I believe a crown store coral. Um, let me show you, uh, if you're done, if I've seen it, is this everything? I'm assuming that's 692. I don't want to walk away on you, Marley, if there's more. But I'll show people about that coral. This one is an achievement coral. This one you can get for achievement. And these are trader flowers that you can get in elsewhere. Okay, cool, Marley. I love it. Am I afraid of drowning? Sure. Uh, Mike Hold Harbor is my entry for a, a unique antiquity. It's so subtle that it's gonna lose. But the reason why I'm entering it is because I haven't really entered it in any contest before. And I thought if I'm going to enter it in any contest, I wanna enter it into a J Hart contest because I know he'll use the effects. Um, and since he's the only one looking, it doesn't really matter if other people don't use EHT. So this was a, a very subtle placement, but this house has existed. So I'll just look at it quickly and then I'll talk about the coral. Um, what I did to build this house is I actually went to TCE, the crown exchange. I gave them a list of all of the coral I wanted and they we, they ended up getting three different sellers together and they all came and gave, and sold me the corals I wanted, the big purple ones. You see the purple ones? I bought those from TCE. So I paid gold and there you go. Uh, this is, these weren't even available in game when I put them here. So those are effects. 
Um, and then there's some frogs that move. The water is obviously an effect. What this is, is uh, supposed to be, it's supposed to be uh, Meridia's uh, colored oils. Now, it's got some tweaking to do. I have to fix this stuff, but that's what the colored aisles look like here. And there's things hidden. There's clams that bubble up. Uh, there's moving plants. I'm trying to think of which ones I actually bought. All right, so you see fishies. Fishies are EHT. I could probably add more fish. I'm gonna fix that. That's just a weird angling. It shouldn't look like that. The chip is EHT, obviously. Um, and then froggy and fishies. See, it it's. Morley went so much better than this, but this was just something I was trying to just, there we go. I don't actually even need that there, come to think of it. Now that I've, there, there we go. What does it matter, right? So uh, that's the antiquity. If you look at the halo, it's so subtle and it's, it's really not going to win, but what, <laughs> right? She, it's just there to, it's just there to use the antiquity and there's no other antiquities in here. So it's just that one. It's just a halo. Um, I just want to share this house. I'm not trying to win, because I won't. But I need to do some touch-up work, obviously, because there's some angles that leave things looking weird. So don't, don't judge. It's coming. I'll fix it. It'll look right later. Uh, but anyway, I did finally fix the water and the sand, because the water and the sand looked really odd for a while there. Okay, moving on. Um, let me see if I can find any more. Okay, Avernus, we've been going to one a day, so we'll, we'll go to one and we'll try to make it quick. Um, we'll do the exercise. Now, I'm going to call it when Jay Hart goes live for the contest. And uh, I'll drop us into the channel because I have to be in my house for the contest because I have an animation. That's one of the limitations of EHT is in order for an animation to work, you have to actually be in the house to have it done. Secondly, I don't think I uploaded my effects yet. So excuse me while once we finish with this, we have to go over there. So this is Avernus who's posted like all of their houses in a week. Um, so this is clearly a scary. Those things scare the hell out of me, those trees. But if you sink them down enough, they're actually quite pretty. You can use that, those colors. They're like a rust and a scarlet. Really nice colors if you, if you want to use it legit and just hide the bodies. I won't tell anyone you're hiding bodies. We've got some spider work going on. Sorry for those of you afraid of them. I did not know this was going to be a heavy ah! spider house. And I just walked into a poison plant because I'm a moron. <laughs> right. So if you hide the body. So these are fit mists of the hag fountain. Now, here's a trick. Say you want crows, but you don't want a scarecrow. Bury the scarecrow underground and you still get tons of crows. It's just a fun trick, so you can just always have 
crows around or just birds circling pretty much anything if you hide it. These things are so terrifying. The wraith of crows. They're just ick. There's a grouse fin grave from the from the Halloween thing. Also, another trick. Say you want this bird, but you don't want the the wreath it's in. You can actually hide the wreath and just get the bird. It's really cool. The bird is actually slightly in front. So you can you can do it. It's a it's a nifty little trick I've seen. These are crown only, but I wish they weren't. I love those. Yeah, terrifying. Why are their bodies, like, what have they done? Ooh, maybe. Well, I mean, I would assume when they just, when they drop the next piece, they're going to want to pe have people lots of crowns to go and buy, you know, like, ah, the next house. Right? I mean, assuming Bastion is coming out sooner or later. All right. Uh, let me go to my house real quick. I have to upload my my animations and stuff. That was dumb of me to totally forget that. But I'll run it so you can see it. Be, please be advised. Two things. One, access has been changing on its own to no access. No matter how many times you change it, it, it can change back. So here's my suggestion about that. Add Jhart Ellis to your, your list. So like, let me show you how to do it. So you go over here and it's probably, it says limited visitor, but sometimes it'll say no access and it'll have done it on its own. But what you can do is you can do visitors and you can add anybody as a visitor to any of your house. This doesn't change. So if you're worried that your access is gonna turn to no access, add J. Harder Ellis to all of your homes as visitor. That way he can always visit any of your homes, regardless of what this says. So it's a, it's a workaround for the problem that permissions are constantly changing. So that's, that's some advice. Now this is my, uh, this is my entry. It's a, it's a model train for those of you who haven't seen it. It is a model train. So let me just quickly upload this to the server. Now, if you're curious about what the server is, uh, Cardi actually pays for it. It's Cardi's personal server that he lets us use so that we can share effects with everyone else without... I'll make it an open house. No, I don't want to reload right now. I'll never come back on. Uh, yeah, he pays for it himself. He, in fact, I offered to help pay for it. He won't let me. So he's he is in fact very much so uh, a giver. He gives so much to the community. All right. So what we're gonna do is first I've got to link these for them to work, and that's that's my lead, I think. Or is it the first one that's the lead? Holy shit, how did I forget? Do you guys remember? Was it the first one that's the lead? I think it is. Well, we'll know in a moment if it goes wrong. This is base game, by the way. You can linking things base game like this. It will make it so that you can pick things up and go, and they move as one thing. All right. See you later, Marley Bear. So that is, in fact, base game. So that's my train. Now, if you want to see it go, we whistle. It, yeah, there it is. It's going. It's going. It's coming around. There it is, coming through the cave, going by the farm. 
Going by Eleanor. Oh, I have to open my music box. Going by... Uh... Vardenfell. So we'll look a little closer now. So what we've got is... This is supposed to be like Balmora or something. This is the Talvani Tower. This is the... Um, this is the Ashlander camp. So you got the little uh, tents, but you also have the big building. The big building is actually a giant mud crab. So I added that there to reference that. That's Red Mountain, um, the heart and soul of men. No, I'm kidding. Then we've got water. This is Vivek City. And that's uh, Vivek holding Bardow at bay. <laughs> Oh, thanks for the follow, Leah Carey. Much appreciated. All right. Let's see if you're on NA. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, hopefully that works. No, that's not your name here. So this is Al supposed to be Eleanor, right? I mean, it's it's representative. It's not supposed to. I don't know, kick. But I love you. Kick Joe is from from. Uh, he's a fan of the real Warhamster. Thank you. Uh, who is a huge fan of? Uh, I'm a huge fan of, and so I spend a lot of time in the real Warhamsters um, channel. So. That's where I know I'm from. There's a little frog jumping with EHT. But that's my farm. I made a little farm. Oh, you're Carrie Gondolin. Okay. I do. Well, Carrie, you're getting a book. Now, Carrie Gondolin told me that her husband wrote a fairy mod for Skyrim. I am so so going to play that thank you thanks for the follow <laughs> are you really <laughs> i saw a bunch of people doing that that was funny all right so this is effects um this is um look i forget whose idea this was but it was brilliant of using these things as farmland these cloths and then you have you've got a little barn door and the cow and the sheep are effects. And I just thought they were really cute. And then uh, you've got I look here with, you know, sand and a scorpion and the buildings and all that. It's supposed to be a train set. And train sets are not supposed to be exact, at least in most cases. Um, here's uh, the train station with Cardi and and Jay Hart sitting there. This is supposed to be Clockwork City. And this is supposed to be Solitude. So Solitude has a harrow storm, which was the brainchild of Swankery because she has so much more brain than I ever did. I'm so impressed with it. But that is in fact Solitude and this is the the, the arch, you know, by solitude. And then that's it. So that's that's the train. And then we're gonna do one one more quick uh, drive through. Whistle, whistle while you work. And off it goes, the little smoke trail, follow it around. It's gonna come back out under the solitude arch. There you go. Now it's going by the farm, going by Eleanor, and then, whoops. I gotta get over here quick. It comes out the tube. <laughs> so it's not perfect. It moves stupid, but it's the best that I can do. Second important, important, important thing to know. Unlink your stuff when you leave. The reason why I say this is because it's broken. You will come back and you will in the base game and your stuff will be jacked. You'll have things all like completely out of whack. 
um, which this kind of is. So we'll, freaking, we'll fix it in a little bit. So just know that if you're going to use the base game linking, unlink before you leave the house. That's all I got. All right, let me uh, real quick turn off almost everything so that I can add, upload this to the server because I really don't want to mess this up. If you ever want to ask me about add-ons, I'm happy to tell you I have a lot. I'm a big fan of the add-on. Okay, that, that should do it. That'll upload my effects and make this an open house. Um, so yeah, in order to upload the stuff to Cardi's server for other people to access, once you publish it, you have to reload UI. You don't have to reload UI right away but you have to reload your eye. For those of you entering this Proud Spire contest, I know I'm just a barrel of news today and I apologize for overdoing it, but for those of you entering this contest today, please be advised that it is basically a one room contest, which means whatever he can fit, preferably in one screenshot. I wish he hadn't said preferably because he meant one screenshot but then now he's kind of essentially made it like two might be okay and that shouldn't be the answer but it's it, he said floor initially and so someone brought that to my attention and i had and i had a conversation with him and he updated it to say room because he for example i thought the first floor included the patio it does not and i thought the third floor included the both rooms but it doesn't it's one room or the other so it's important to okay there you go choo -choo. let's see if i'm an uh, an open house now i should be there we are okay perfect those are updated we're good um so just know that for that contest if we hear, start hearing people saying DQ, DQ, I'm going to punch people. Red Guard Sweet, Berry Bell Bell's Sugar Bowl. Berry Bell Bell's been adding like one a day. It's kind of cool. But yeah, that's my train set. I figured, you know, everyone's going to do a house house for Proud Spire, right? Why not do something different? And make it not. Uh, yeah, well, that's why we had a conversation. Here we go. So this is Barry Bell Bell's Red Guard Suite, which is interesting because this is the Sugar Bowl Suite. And you would think that uh, the Sugar Bowl Suite, oh, the sweetheart. Um, you'd think, look, I offered, Chrisay and I both offered Eula, Eula because um, both Chrisay and I are attorneys and so we offered our services of double checking for him so if he accepts it he accepts it but i don't get the sense that he he wants that advice so you know this it's a standing offer for contests if you need an attorney to look it over <laughs> here i am i'm happy to i'm happy to look it over for you but this is funny because it's it's red guard 
but then there's Khajiit in it too. A little bit of other things. It's like a Khajiit regard combo? Well, <laughs> no, I don't practice. I don't practice anymore. Um, I too sick. But this is great. Look at all this money. I kind of want the money. Give it to me. Gives me it all. <laughs> Some people do. I mean, come on. We all have people that, for whatever reason, don't like us. There's always somebody that doesn't like us. School of Magnets. I think that's brown. Yeah, you're fine. Uh, Kunzari's Rest, Chateau Saint Alessia. These are all huge, and I do want to get over to EU. So we'll look at Zalsara's snow melt, and then we'll head over to EU. Because I have to get to the people there. Oh, where's Griff? I don't know. I think I got a message from him this morning, but I didn't read it. He did send me a message, but it was an article about how our uh, our state's going to be using goats to clean up the parks instead of machines. Don't ask. So this is a Zalsara's Snowmelt Suite, and it is 15 items, which I would not have guessed. And this is an antiquity. This is that... Uh, own thingy antiquity it looks good here I put it in my Argonian home I would not have guessed that it would look so good in here but it does it's almost like a baby's what would you call it like a baby's thing that you hang over their cradle can't think of the word I'll leave the house and then we'll head over to you Bassinet, thank you. That's true. Well, over the bassinet. A mobile. Thank you, Swank. Swank, do you want me to tour your entry or no? Because I, I didn't see your entry, but I heard it was really good for the Zoss contest. I'm happy to tour anyone's on NA before I head over to EU. So I'm, it's just a shout out for right now to let you all know. Let me know. You, do you want, is it okay if I tore it, or would you prefer I didn't? Swanks. Swanks. I was just talking about you earlier. I was saying that you have a little bit of an art background, as, or maybe more than a little bit, I don't recall. Your moon sugar used to be where you had your house moving castle. Did you take that apart? I'm going to be very sad if you took that apart. I don't think she's, I don't think she's seen my comments. Okay, I'll head over. Hey, bae. Uh, no problem. Okay. Let's head over to uh, Swankery's. Oh, good. That's true, you just needed to use it for a screenshot. Swankery has an incredible house moving castle in her moon sugar. So I was very concerned that perhaps she took it apart for this contest, in which case I would cry because it's amazing. <laughs> I have magic carpet on, but I I don't need, I, I don't, I need decorator permissions. I'd feel weird taking decorator permissions from you. Even if I'm just flying around. So here's the house moving castle. This is what I was talking about with, oh my God, what if she removed it? Oh, you got rid of the viewing pad though. 
Isn't it amazing? It looks different from the last time I saw it. Like it got bigger. It like grew. Yes, I do it all the time in a different place. I just did it yesterday on stream. This is incredible. For those of you who have not seen House Moving Castle by Swankery, here it is. Warning, warning. What are we warning now? I didn't have that problem. Are you sure that's a, did you talk to Cardi about it? Cause I've never had that problem. Hey Treves. And Cardi knows that? That's so bizarre. I would have liked to have heard that from him because he should, I, I mean, I help people all the time. It would be nice to know what I need to tell them does and doesn't work. All right, I'll talk to him. I want to get a confirmation from him that, that that's a, still an error. Right. So, I did not, I don't know where you took the picture from. Assuming from the wood? Where did you take the picture? From this bridge? figure out where to stand to take the picture. Oh! Oh, wow! Holy crap! Sure. Today I'm trying to catch up on... Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. I love the A-frame. And that ship. Wow. It's great that you used the uh, barnacled portions of the wood. It's so realistic. Oh, I wanna see those windows up close. Yeah, she crafted the whole thing. Nothing's in moon sugar at all. So everything here is crafted uh, by hand. Oh, I don't know that I can. Maybe I can. Maybe I can. Maybe I can. Oh, she put an interior in. That's so typical. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> she actually put an interior. That's amazing. Like, but it's a, sh a screenshot contest and she put so much outside, but she's even got an amazing interior. Yeah, those windows are fantastic. She even wallpapered it. This is beautiful. What a great oven. Or fireplace, stove, what do you want to call it? And a second floor for the library. Holy smokes. And look at the view from the back window. You can see the castle. <sighs> Miss Swankery, you are amazing. Amazing, I tells you. I wish I could get out there on the, to the balcony though. I pro probably could with, the, uh, with magic carpet, but I don't wanna take that permission. Okay, so I walked through something. Oh, maybe it goes out this way. Ah, oh, that's how you do it. Look at the little details. Oh my God, you kill me. Beautiful. Look at this porch. Those windows, everything. Ugh. Oh my god. Yeah, she built a lumber mill. Let me get over there. 
this is handcrafted. This is amazing. I would have thought this was part of the game. I honestly would have. I think the only thing that would have told me that it's not part of the game is if I noticed the Merkmeyer wall. But in general, if I walked up to this, I wouldn't have thought that this was anything but an actual mill. Oh my god, you built more! What is over here? I keep finding things. There's a chicken on the wood. There's a horse. There's an ancient north. There's a stable! that you can't even see. Holy shit. Um, this is incredible. <sighs> wow. All right, so here's a close up of those amazing windows. So these are mirrors with, I think, a Breton wine rack over it. Really nicely done. Wow. Wowzers. I can't believe you did this. I can tell. There's a lot of love in it, honestly. There really is. There's so much love in it. It's a passion thing. Cold Harbor. Uh, do you want me to skip that and we go another day? Because it's, I mean, it's up to you. I can wait until you publicly open it. If you are planning on that. Okay, I'll come. Oh, no, I'll head over if you're okay with it. I didn't do both. I didn't have it in me. You know, I'm not good at... I'm not inspired by vampires. But... I don't know. Oh, you're fine. So many of my houses are. Yeah, swankery is something else. Oh, man. Gee, yeah, it's just passion. Passion. Oh, this was yours? I've seen a picture of this. Okay, yeah, this was, um, I saw a picture of this in Aetherius. Someone posted it saying it was amazing. Ah, oh, I won't let me. It won't let me. Did you give me permission for now? You did, you crazy person. I promise I won't break anything. So, this is the one I saw people wing and awing over on Ethereus. You should take a look at their um, at their Discord, hon, if you haven't. Some people saying that it was so Tim Burton-y and it was like really beautiful and amazing. Yeah, I don't know who originally posted it. I love that the lights just turned on as I went closer on Twitter. Who posted it on Twitter? Did Swank? That's okay. So here you go. Oh my God. Look at that. Sorry, I've got the grate in the way there. So it's a floating island with it's it's a coffin. Do you know from the picture, I didn't realize that the tower itself was a coffin too. I just thought the door was. What did I didn't even realize. Now that I look at it closely. Oh wow. It's so beautiful. Look at the little details too. What did you make that out of? 
What is that window? Those are the vamp lights, I know, but what's behind it? Is that just the black, the Brotherhood? Dark Brotherhood uh, tabard thingy? It must be, because it kind of matches this one, which is. Nice use of the chairs, by the way. I really like the, the vamp lights as, the vamp lights as um, panes, you know? That looks really good. And then this little tower over here is the, is the really Tim Burton-y part, I gotta admit. It just is so... She's amazing. And there's the graveyard. You can see a little better from up here. Pumpkins. Okay, I know I can't go in it, but I'm gonna drop it down to look up close because I'm a selfish little bitch. But look at those windows. Look at those bit windows. The fence. The man eating plants around the corner. I mean, it's amazing. Ah! Splat. I'm fine. <laughs> Thank you for letting me see it. Uh, wow. I love the little bats flap flapping around there, too. You see her running around? Isn't that funny? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let me get back up there. I didn't think to do that. Good, good point. I'll head on over. Oh, no, thank you for letting me see it and giving me magic carpet rights, because uh, to show it properly, I understand I need it. Why does it say it's off? Magic carpet is not off. I'm on it as we speak. I think that's busted. You didn't spend too much time. You spent a good amount of time, I'm sure, but you made it into something lovable. Something that you loved, a passion project. Yeah, I mean, but you gotta realize that a lot of people had backs that were not intentional, were intentionally left blank. I mean, you even at least added stuff. Um, but you know, it was really just the screenshot, so it's okay if you don't have the front done. I mean, back done. I like it. Okay. Does anyone else want NA before I head over to EU that has, uh, you know, one of your contest entries? As I run around her storage house. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. It's my auction purchase. Oh. All right. No words. We go to EU. We're going to EU. Before it's too late, we have less than a half an hour. Shit. I should have time for Seacode and Bayushi. And then we all got to go over to watch j -Hart. Gosh, it's amazing how the time gets away from me. Is it an hour and a half or a half hour? Because he said 1 p.m. his time for the Proud Spire contest. Um, unless I'm on crack, which is entirely possible. Let me double check. I thought it was the 25th, which it is. 
today, 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Proud Spire Manor. And I have to be there because mine's animated. So I have to drop the stream at that point. Okay. I'll be right back. Oh, well, this is loading. Quick fire break. Okay. Yeah, 35 minutes. No! Kick Joe! Tell him he has to make another me. He killed me. Tell him to make another me, please. All right. Let's do C codes and then not games. And that's Daggerfall. Please inform him. Please to let him know. Um, actually, comparatively. Oh, thank you, Meldoran. I do love it. It's exciting. So last night, my cat was, the dying one, was yowling again, and I thought he was in pain, and I was, do I not have EHG on? I don't have a UI on. There we go. Okay. Uh, so he was crying again, doing his pain yowl, but I had fallen asleep, and I didn't know this. And uh, my husband, oh, I love this vampy stuff my husband actually told me that he let him just cry oh a feast and uh he's he uh finally he, he just vomited up a hairball and then he was totally chill after that so no crying so apparently his tummy hurt not anything more dangerous than that because i had assumed it would be pain pain but luckily it was just I am not comfortable look at this bedroom see this is what strikes me as what a vampire's home would be really like almost like the dark wood Eleanor regal stuff just very heavy dark engraved furnishings and heavy dark engraved paintings I mean, if you look at it, it's all extremely like that. Ooh, I like what you did with the curtains, too. I haven't seen anyone use them yet, but I really like that you have them crisscrossed, but then you also have the other ones on the side. So presumably, this was your shot, the shot of the feast, but I can go down and see if there's more, or up start going up. I can't believe that he forgot the name of Wraith Home yesterday. I mean, I forget names of things all the time, but that was a little crazy that Cullen forgot that. Nice 
this bedroom. If I didn't know any better, I would have thought that a designer from Zoss did this as the crown version. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's, it looks like it could be a crown version of a house. It's pretty professional looking. Okay, that bar. All right, we're gonna walk back to the bar because the bar looks amazing. First of all, that's genius. So that's, I think, the Breton hanging barrel rack. And then they used the grate, the fire grate, to, as like a slide for the glasses for the bar, which is neat. And now I'm walking on the bar, which I think is probably really bad. And here's the little flap for where the bartender goes. And then we have a little bit of food cooking too. So it's not just a bar. It's not just, I don't know that they eat food, but presumably it's got some blood in it because it's all red. Let's see if there's, can we go out to the, the, the oh my goodness, holy shit. It's an entire extra section. Wow. Unexpected. I love the mushrooms. Oh, wow. This must have been your picture then maybe something including this. Holy smokes. You can build over a lot of this. And here's your fountain. That's something. Wow. Hey, Thrall. There's more? How? 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 It, <laughs> speechless? This is enormous. Oh my goodness, they, I, it's too bad they didn't come and tour your house, yours and, and, uh, yeah, this is Daggerfall. I think we're over the water in Daggerfall. A little bit of water come through. Yeah, this is, this is the going through the little trap door. We came out into this. It's Sea Codes Daggerfall. So before I lose out of time, because it's really important. Ah! Stop. Why can't I? Stop. Stop! Something's wrong with my HT. I can't really type in here. It won't let me type. Okay, uh, so let's just go to Bayushi. I thought you were on my friends list. You are. Okay, Bayushi, and this is her Wraith home. Now, what I gotta tell you about this Wraith home is I think in part it didn't even uh, place because I don't think think first of all they may have thought she used dht but secondly i don't think they realized quite what she had done in the house it's uh this is the one she used 250 of those uh crystals from cold hardware from for she she actually farmed up 250 of the void crystals and used it in her creation And I really feel like this entrance is, is something else, too. I mean, I don't think they quite get just what went into it. Yeah, the time, exactly. Wow. Just 
just just the entrance view and I've seen pictures but this exceeds I see why they might have thought you used EHT because this doesn't even look real he used a heal helot bow these are beautiful and this are these the uh, are these the oh my god she made 200 she used 250 of them i I'm thinking that these are the statues, the folds of the dress of the statue. See that part being used repeatedly as almost like a carving. And the chains and oh my gosh, this guy's just falling into it. Look at the, the faces poking out. Entirely made without EHT, like in terms of she. That's gorgeous. Like every detail is gorgeous. What have you used for this? Those are the sides of a red guard star, aren't they? You must have placed them just perfectly. The work that went into this. Red guard, right? I was thinking that myself. Look at that throne with that body stick coming out of it. That's like all part of the throne with the psychic thing part underneath. The... What is that made of? Are those pillows? Those are... Those are pillows, aren't they? The red pillows. It's almost like fire coming off the sides. I gotta say, I honestly think she must not have placed because either they thought it was EHT or they didn't quite realize the detail level and the and what she did that was so amazing. It's truly, look at the top of the skulls at the top of the there. And that, it is truly amazing, it is. It is, and I'm so sorry that not more people didn't win. Oh, are you here? No, that's not you. Those are just people eating. But the swirls, look at the swirls of carving. Made it look like somebody carved all these walls. And the people popping out of them. I appreciate that you left on uh, more than a limited visitor, but I would never touch your work like that. Oh my god. Look, like, look at it from the, from the step, even looking outwards, that's kind of amazing, but just looking at it from here. Why is my thing on? Yeah. Really. I guess we know the truth now. But 
I know what she was really going for is, you see the blue color? I think she was either trying to get rid of that. I think she was trying to get rid of that to make it solid black. I can't remember whether she was trying to get rid of it or add it. But she was talking to me about that. I couldn't remember. But I'm, I'm sad that... I'm sad that people didn't... You know, I'm seeing so many houses that I, I'm sad. I wish they had picked more honorable mentions at least. At a minimum. People broke themselves on this contest. Inspired beige, yeah, I love it. If I missed anything, let me know, but. I'm having trouble with my. <sighs> you wanted it to fade out, okay. It does. It does fade out, it looks less they did it already picked the honorable mentions. Are they picking more? Because they picked two honorable mentions and two winners for each. I mean, two honorable mentions for each. Like, Chrysaea was an honorable mention. All right, let's do a quick one while we're here. Yeah, she's amazing. Amazing. Let's do a really small one. We'll do Walking Spanishes Snug. Thank you for adding all of those walking Spanish, by the way. Walking Spanish went and downloaded all of that. Aren't they? They're like fangs, right? Like really big fangs is what they feel like. They feel like an overwhelming feeling of fangs. Oh. Well, I mean, that's not going to make people feel better, is it? If they weren't mentioned in the first place. I don't know. Yeah. So this is Walking Spanish, who has made an incredible machine. No, they can't. I, I mean, I think that's part of the problem. And I wish that we had less people using screenshots for that. And like, DOS especially. Um, because... I love that you use the new antiquity to make it look like it's, uh, oh, okay. It looks like it's, it's electrified. What did you put in there? What did you put in that little, I'm trying to figure out what that is. What are those things? Those red I can't figure out what those red things... Oh, are those the blood things? The blood... Those must be the blood um, tubes. Yeah, the spell scar, yes. But I was trying to figure out what these were. I think these are the possibly the blood tubes? Not sure. This looks like a TV almost. Huh. Really neat really it's very it, it's like the, is this like the inside of doctor who's what is that called phone booth the tardis because it seems to remind me of that Ooh, the tardis yeah i have a feeling this was that this is the inside of the tardis or could be That's that game table flipped up upside down. Looks really good. All of these buttons are just pretty neat. Doctor Who must know what they all do, but I don't. This is fun, fun stop. All right, we got 15 minutes, so let's see what small ones we can fit in in the meantime keep hitting the wrong buttons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we did walking Spanish. Sea coats, we did. Grand Sigic, I'm not gonna do a huge S. 
for instance. Maybe they have another small one. Oh yeah, solitude. We'll do a snow melt. We'll do walking Spanish, just snow melt. Beautiful. Love it. Great job. Come on. Load your boat. Load, load, load your boat. Oh, I think I saw this one. I think I saw this one in the snowmelt contest. This was the theater. This was the really nifty theater. That's genius. I remember this one. I can't believe you did this in 30 items. Holy crow. That just is amazing. I want an exit sign right over there. Then it would be even funnier. Wow, really good job. Let's see if there's another small one. If there isn't, I'll call it, but we'll see if there's a small one. That's not that small. All right, I'll call it. And uh, we'll see you all in, I gotta eat something anyway. I'll see you all in a few minutes. Good luck everyone uh, on the contest and uh, happy building. So I will catch you all in a little bit. Don't forget to go watch um, J Hart Ellis, in case you didn't know, so that you can see who won. So you're welcome. <laughs>